Good morning, happy Saturday. It will be when this is over. I'm excited. Um, hopefully you've warmed up. Our first section, and it's a large part of the board because there's a lot of writing, one time through glute activation, we want to wake up the fibers. We want to warm them up, but we want to wake them up and get them ready to receive the work we're going to do, okay? So no sweat there. Um, I'm going to use, and it's calling for a band, I'm going to use the glute fitness loops, okay? These are lighter. Um, I don't know about keeping them staying on really well, but um, at this point I feel that the big glute loop is a little bit heavy, a little bit too much resistance for um, a warm up. So uh, personally, I'm going to take it to a notch down from our last couple of glute uh, workouts because my recovery hasn't been that great. And um, honestly, if you can stay in the game longer, you're going to get to your, um, to your goals as opposed to trying to hammer out every workout at 110% and then you just can't function, all right? Or you're causing injuries. So we'll, let's go through this together real, we'll go one at a time, um, one exercise at a time. We're on the floor for a glute bridge first and I'd like you to hike your butt up, squeeze it and hold it for three seconds and then bring it down. We're only doing 10 reps of this, okay? So <clears throat> with this glute bridge, can you see, your feet could be together and then you could externally rotate and lift. Or you could just take your feet out wider and lift. Keep your chin up unless it's causing too much trouble, all right? And let's go ahead and do 10 glute bridge. Three second count at the top. Okay, Woo. feeling that? So watch how your hips are reacting um, and the rest of your body too for tension, all right? Banded squat, hang on here, <laughs> gotta get up. So same idea is we want that external rotation. So just in a squat position, your arms are gonna be extended out front Slight lean forward to engage the glute. And then as you come down, you're gonna press your um, knees outwards into that external rotation and then hold at the bottom for three seconds, okay? able to cue you through this stuff. Forgot to put that other side on my... Anyways. Good? <laughs> Lateral band walk. Um, that slight lean forward again, okay? We're going to go five that way, five this way. 
five back and five back. Uh, so 20 uh, reps. Um, again, that slight lean forward is going to lengthen that uh, glute. And then we're going to shorten and lengthen. One, two, rest, you rest. Just reposition. Make sure that you're slightly in forward. Glute. I'm keeping my, um, my brain right in the game here. I'm really focusing on the feelings modify that to what feels good for you. We just want to engage that glute in a donkey position. So if you want to knee on one end of the band and then it's tucked behind your um, lower thigh on the other, support it here and just 20. Time under tension is what I want to speak about. I want you to think about moving through the range of motion that is under the most tension and slow it down and keep it there throughout the range of motion, okay? That means I'm not gonna come right down to the floor. I'm gonna keep the tension on for an extended period of time. I have no idea how many reps I've done So I'm just going to switch her over now. Ooh. Really focus on, obviously, the leg that is um, kicking and the glute there, but the supporting leg as well, okay? A lot of tension happening on this supporting knee. There's 10 for me. I just want to give it a break because my supporting leg is really working hard, right? Okay. 
and 20. Whew. Okay, other side. Now the other side is going to be really difficult because that leg that we're going to work now has been working. So make sure that you're going off to the back and a bit of a diagonal to hit up on that uh, top. All right, here we go. I'm going to take a rest. You can see we're using that heavier glue loop would really um, force you into some heavy duty work maybe before you're ready. So you could even do this without bands, right? And just really get into the um, proper position and alignment so that you're hitting the right area. I'm having a hard time controlling. 15, and 20. Yeah, so it's almost that slingshot effect. It wants to come right back and snap in. So you have to control on the eccentric and concentric, on the uh, lengthening and the shortening, okay? So the second set is sitting upright, doing the same movement. I'm in an upright position. I'm finding I have to really think to keep that from popping back and in. Good 
good stuff. I don't know, I think I'm close to 20. All right, so we're doing the exact same thing here, standing up for our last one, which is 10 standing. Hip hinge, you wanna drive your hips back, abduction. So, standing, standing. <laughs> I've got a message up there, I hope it's not wrecked right the screen. Um, hip hinge, and then out and in. Okay, whoa, challenging, yes, all right. Watch other parts of your body. I just feel nothing painful, but I feel the front of my quad awakening. <laughs> now, with these heavier sets, when you see a six rep set, that means you should lift heavier um, relative to your abilities. So you would also take more rest in between because you want to come back at the next six pretty fresh, okay? And then again, while we're doing the reps, time under tension, slow it down and feel the work, you know, right through the whole rep, all the way up, all the way down, and no rest. Um, don't ease off on the tension, okay? Here we go, second set, barbell, or dumbbell hip thrust. Got it? Good stuff. Make sure you ease out of that last rep. Come on down safe. Deep breath, exhale. Take a tour, see how you feel. That last round, 
um, something in the back of my leg jumped in. Again, not painful, just, oh, we're under tension over here. Pay attention. All right, each rep, each set, touring, touring. You gotta stop, you've gotta be intuitive about your abilities and, and call it when you can't do another one. You don't wanna try to do the next one and then suffer. All righty, third set. Dumbbell or barbell hip thrust. Give it all you have. At the end of the workout, we'll decide whether we, we want or need a burnout set, okay? That might come next week or the week after that we need to have an extra burnout. I don't know if it's gonna be necessary this time. We'll just go hard at this stuff and make our decision towards the end of the workout, okay? We got uh, one more set of hip thrust and then we're going to back squat. So I'm gonna get, use my barbell on my rack and you can use dumbbells. Anyways, finish up this last hip thrust, six reps. slide in and out a little easier. So just keep that in mind. There's a place for everything in, in our workouts. We're going up to uh, back squats. Three sets of five, that means heavy-ish. Back squat is just a regular um, stance. You can slightly out turn your toes if you care to. Alrighty, good rest in between. Get set up. Um, back squat, if you're using dumbbells, just put them on your shoulders, okay? Or they could be placed at your sides. Um, yeah. Am I going to need that again? Not right away. All right. Woo! I'm just going to put this safety on over here.
you to slow down, it forces you to think about movement all the way through. At the bottom of that movement, there's no momentum, so you have to really pull in all the fibers, contract everything to come back up, which is utilizing a lot of energy. Um, and there you have to be safe too, like, what if I get down there and can't get up? Um, my rack has a safety, I would just drop it. I suggest the same thing, you guys. You can fix up holes, but injuries to your body, you don't want to mess with that. Are you ready? When you're ready, you go. Five, back, squat. Rewrap safely, and if you've got uh, dumbbells, try and put them up on a bench so you don't have to come back down there. <laughs> you got to conserve energy. We've got one more set, and then we're into Romanian deadlifts. I was going to try the big weights for my uh, Romanians, but I, I think that, uh, I don't think so. Decisions. Right through your whole workout, you're looking ahead and you're saying, where do I gotta go? What am I gonna do? How am I gonna modify that? Always, always on the ball. Last set. Barbell or dumbbell, back squat. dumbbells for our, I might play with that a minute for a minute and see where I'm at just to give my brain a little something to think about. In the future, you too could be lifting this heavy weight if you stick to the program. Alrighty, uh, do we come back there? Back squat and elevated goblet. No, we don't go back to the rack. So, you guys, if you have really awesome flexibility, and then when you're taking it down, like that's about as far as I go. My hamstring is not gonna allow me to go any further. But a lot of people are more flexible in those greater ranges. You could raise yourself on a step and then take it below parallel at the bottom. Just keep in mind that you want to be creating strength in those longer um, areas, okay? There's nothing great about having great flexibility without having the strength in that area. That's where uh, problems start, okay? Uh, because my arm can go back there. It doesn't mean that I have the strength to pull it forward safely under stress. And the same with my hamstrings, all right? I might be able to go really, really low, but if I'm not strong down there, I'm gonna cause a problem. So ease into those uh, stronger, longer ranges. 
All right. I'm just going to play here. I'm not going to do it, but I'm close. <laughs> uh, I can lower the weight on that bar, um, but it's too much hassle. So I'm just going to my dumbbells to do my Romanian deadlift. Right? Okay, let's go. 10 reps. And safely down. Strength work is hard. You do get a cardiovascular benefit. Your muscles need the oxygen to work. That's respiratory. You're doing it. One more Romanian deadlift and then we're going elevated goblet. Um, I found this little bar that I've had around the house that I've used for my elevated uh, stance. You might have a plate, you might have, you could even roll up a mat and get enough lift on your heels to make that uh, beneficial, but I need you to stay back in your heels, okay? I'll cue that in a second. <laughs> All right, we got one more set. Oh, psyching up, psyching up. Here we go. Drive those hips out, feel the hamstrings tighten and drive them forward under tension. Moderate weight for your goblet squat that has the elevated heels. Okay. This is 
bar I've been using um, for my elevated. It felt pretty sturdy. So that's what you need to be looking around for. Woo, little dizzy. Two sets of 20, we got this. Goblet means that weight is up here. Core is engaged, okay? We're gonna drive our hips back. Even though the heels are elevated, we gotta drive it back. Got it? Let me get this little plate over here. I actually thought I was gonna use those 30s. There's no way today. <laughs> this is enough. I really value coming back to each of my workouts all week long, fresh. I mean, there's some, some days you just don't. But if one workout is knocking out all the rest of my workouts, it's not worth it, right? So ease up, bring it back. Um, you know, you could use this day for a um, weak link rehabilitation um, uh, day. There's always, there's a whole lot of different ways that you can stay in the game, all right? Here we go. I'm gonna drive my hips back and I'm gonna stay back. One, Challenging, okay? Quads are getting a lot of that work. Your brain is staying back here, okay? One more set, goblet. Then I'm just gonna give you a demo for a manual hamstring curl. The reason that we can't jump in and do a manual is because you're gonna have to look around the house and see what you have available. You need to hook your heels on something. I just so happen to look at that and say, that's a good height for me. I also have my bench here, my um, rack, and the platform is a good height. The other thing I use is my um, dumbbell stack, because my heels can tuck in and under there. It has to be something sturdy enough to hold your body weight, and you'll see why as soon as we get to that. But right now, we're just gonna go back and do that last. Heel elevated goblet squat. Goblet means you're holding your weight up. Okay, we got this. Oh, those ones you can really zone out and lose your focus on that um, time under tension. You really want to, you just start going through the motions and uh, you got to bring yourself back. I got mesmerized by the waves out there and found myself just up and down, up and down, up and down. So bring yourself back into the movement, stay there for what, 30, 40 seconds and make it happen. Okay, now this um, is a stretch for you guys. You might get your bands back out. 
Um, I think we're going to go through the uh, glute activation one more time as a burnout. And I'm going to continue using my fitness loops. But in the meantime, this is what I was talking about for the, um, now, I really should have padding under my knees too. Because if you can imagine, my whole body is going to lower itself to the floor. And my hamstrings are responsible for contracting to pull me back up. You could start this whole movement simply by playing with it. Down, push up, so that you get the right trajectory. Then I would bring it out and then I would push myself up and allow my hamstrings to grab in. Eventually, and we put, we put video up of these people doing full out, all the way down and all the way up, just using hamstrings. Again, I just wanted to demo that manual hamstring because hamstrings are very difficult to um, challenge um, in a home studio situation, so you have to kind of get a little bit um, inventive. So just take a look around the house, see what you have. We're not adding those in just yet. Probably a few, few weeks down the road we'll be strong enough and aware enough to bring that into play. Until then, we got our hamstring um, stiff leg deadlifts. We've got our hip thrusts. That'll keep us going for a little while. We're doing great, you guys. All right, so let's go through the activation uh, one more time to burn it out. You're welcome to stay and do two times. You're also welcome to use a heavier band, but watch your performance, okay? That's what counts here. It's not like, oh, can I wrench myself through this incredible resistance and then cause a problem somewhere, okay? Um, slow, patient, incremental strength gains. Over time, it's incredible. When you actually see it, you gotta be taking pictures though, you got to see it. You gotta take pictures. All right, band glute bridge. So again, this is one where I could take my feet out a little wider, or I could keep them together and externally rotate up my hips. Um, open up, all right? So 10, we're just gonna do the same 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Let's go. Hold it up for the three, three second count on top, right? So up, hold, squeeze. Ten for me. Good. Dizzy. Hang on. We got the uh, banded squat. I'm just gonna put that music back on. It helps.
think that's the one we needed to put our arms over it. Lateral band walk. Five, 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 five. Drive your hips back, forward lean slightly, and step. Donkey kick. Ooh, these are the 20s. 20, 15, 12. All right. Anchor one under your knee and keep it under tension. Son of a gun. Uh, I gotta tell you, I was stopping at 10. <laughs> and then when 15 came, I said, that's enough. And I said, no, we're gonna do 20. We did it. This other one is gonna be just as hard or harder because of the, the work that it's been doing to support the other side. So just be aware of that. If you need to take little breaks, take little breaks or shoot for a number and force yourself to get to that number, okay? One time through his burnout said it's going to be quite a burnout. <laughs> we have to stand up. Holy man, we're going on. This is some time. Um, to the standing hip extension, abduction. Okay. Supported, I'm going back and out.
couldn't do that last one. It was a funny thing. It was my supporting leg that gave up. It was just going to buckle. Makes sense. It all makes sense. We did the work. All right. A couple more and we're out of here. If you've got to go, stretch, okay? Pay attention to how you feel tomorrow especially. Anything deep inside your hips from those external rotations, all right? Maybe even up in your back. Um, you never know where this work is going to migrate to and complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We're almost done. Yeah, I'm feeling quite a strain in my back, all right? Not pain, but it's definitely saying, hey, pay attention. So this is your um, seated hip abduction in three positions. Slight lean back. And then you're going to rotate out onto your heels. Right, reposition and roll out into your heels or your uh, sides of uh, your feet. We got um, 20 more here and 10 more standing. We're out of here. Breakfast. I got mine ready. Slight lean forward. So maybe tuck your butt back. Slight lean forward and open close. Control. You're tired and it just wants to sl slam back in. And this is where you have to really focus to keep control. Keep the tension on right through the whole range. Just 10 more here for me.
and 10. Woo! All right, you guys. Take it at your own pace. Ease out of this workout. I don't know if you want to like take it into a stretch right away. That's one that I would do. You could probably be up against a wall. I'm really not good at this stretch. But if I were upright against a wall, that would really make that stretch on the outer area of your glutes and, and uh, thigh area, hamstring, quad. All right, um, otherwise, I'll have the boards out tomorrow for the next week. I'm gonna do another basic hammer. Um, yeah, just basic lifts. All right, that was really pleasant. And we can do that for a little while because probably towards spring is when we want to start doing some more complex moves and shake off a few COVID pounds. <laughs> hey, you guys, have, have a fantastic Saturday. Um, I'll talk to you, um, well, I'll, I'll check in on the page tomorrow, especially to put those boards up. So walk safely today, folks. <laughs> One foot in front of the other. <laughs> Bye now.